base up, Bob. Well, he comes you off. You know a lot about and, that, don't you? Can, yeah, I do. He comes off of the rope. Good. Headlock, hip toss right there. And Del Rio now again with a shoulder to the mat. Very quickly gets one shoulder up as the referee right down to get a good close look at it. Head scissors now on Rick. Good move by Del Rio to come up with that head scissors. Let's see if he's going to be able to hold it in. He's got a lot of power. You can tell that by the muscles in those legs. Very big, powerful looking thigh muscles, but Ringwood Rick, if you turn into one like that, Kevin, you're going to be able to get the leverage and come right out of, out of that almost every time. But stacked up for the count of only one. Throughout the years, the toll of professional wrestling doing that night in and night out, you're going to get a lot of cauliflower ears, Bob. You're going to get those. He stacked up that time for a quick count of two. Rick again still with a headlock now. It's both guys on their knees trying to get their defeat uh, to their feet, trying to get out here to the center of the ring like to tie up again, again, try to get to that base. That's right. In addition to the Patriot, who we really have been looking forward to seeing fans. Good block coming off by power Ring here Lord by Rick. Ring Lord Rick. Right over Del Rio he goes. Look at Del Rio. He got so high to the air to lead right over him. No way he could avoid that one. The clothesline coming Looks by. Looks like a lot of confusion, but there's a lot of power and strength in the ring, though. I'll tell you that, Bob. Count of two, and again, Del Rio managed to kick out. Hip toss, headlock again, as Del Rio is, has his back to the mat. We're going to see uh, Helmut Hessler also during oh, yeah, this Yeah, he's hour. a member of the, the leading conglomerate in all the professional wrestling. That is Chaos Enterprises. And uh, who? He's setting him up for a whip. Here we go. Oh, kind of tried to tried to stop, but his momentum carried him right into yeah, the ring Lord Rick. Him, yeah, he whipped him into the ropes. And coming off of those ropes, Kevin, as you said, it was a momentum coming off that he went, came right on out. And Rick was ready with a high back toss. Got him high to the air. Reversal, Reversal. on that whip. Hey, he was going to scoop slam him right behind him goes ring Lord Rick though Ooh, and Del Rio he thought that one out he didn't think that far ahead and there's the DDT he snapped the neck he almost did a flip one two three when he came off in this corner from Pittsburgh weighing 235 pounds Joe DeFurio and his partner from Pompano, weighing 235 pounds, double O, Matt Otto! And their opponents from Tampa, Florida, with a combined weight of 452 pounds, Joe and Dean Malenko! Uh, to the opening match uh, here on the Global Wrestling Alliance program this week. Joe DeFuria and the double O Matt Otto against uh, Joe and Dean Malenko. And Joe Malenko sporting that patch. Uh, Dean Malenko. Dean Malenko, rather, sporting that patch from uh, the cigar incident a few weeks ago. Yeah, he, uh, we still don't know how much. Oh! And Dean Malenko goes right to work on the double O Matt Otto. Tremendous uh, elbow smash to the chin in the corner and a body slam. The burn is healed, Frank. Oh, look at this. Oh, a punishing move by the Malenko brothers. Talk about teamwork. Joe DeFeria thought he'd get involved. That obviously was a mistake. They, uh... That's Joe Malenko working on the double-O Matt Otto while Dean takes care of Joe DeFeria. You get a short look at the crowd on hand here at uh, the arena today. You know, uh, I, I see something. Oh, Joe DeFeria just hit with a thump that shook the floor in this studio. I felt that. I uh, I think I see the Malenko boys. These guys, I told you, they had a, in the dressing room before the match, they they had a lot of fire in their eyes, and they were really upset. There's and, certainly a, an arrogant air about them uh, today. Well, I'd say a more of a vengeance. Uh, they, they normally come out. They're fairly scientific. They're probably showing off their moves and their tag team. Now, Matt Otto going after an eye, I think with the Malenkos now, attacking the eyes is going to get a, a strong reaction from them. Very quick and, and uh, adequate response, I'm sure of that. But right now, it's uh, the double-O Matt Otto on Joe Malenko. Whips him off the ropes. Elbow to the chest area. And Joe Malenko on the canvas. I see the Malenkos, their normal cadence as tag team wrestlers is broken up. I think that Dean is still up so, so upset about the injury. He doesn't know how much of his eyesight he's going to recover. Joe, of course, always a feisty, a real hard-nosed, tough, feisty individual. 
And today I see them not looking to get revenge from their dad. Oh, Joe Malenko, tremendous right hand on Joe DeFuria. No uh, counter move with that. It was just a straight right. Uh, he's not going for this one. DeFuria trying to uh, pick up Joe Malenko, but it is Malenko with a shoulder across the uh, blade of the back. And he picks up DeFuria, delivers a body slam on his own. And sweeps the legs. Oh, it's the double O, Matt Otto. With an outrageous clothesline on Joe Malenko. In comes Dean, and he quickly does away with the double O, Matt Otto. Between the ropes and out onto the floor. Joe Malenko back to work on Joe DeFuria now. And oh, they've got it. They've doubled up on him. What is this? Looks like a double suplex coming. Our way. Oh, wait a minute. They saw oh, him up no. on the ropes. Oh, you can one. see Joe DeFuria is out of it already. He's going to be oh, oh. tremendous, uh, tremendous suplex. That's a superplex, a double superplex. On uh, Joe DeFuria by the Malenko brothers, both of them in the ring now, going to work on DeFuria. Look at this one. Oh, oh, oh. look at that move. Look at nice pin by Joe Malenko. Joe DeFuria is pinned. Oh. The drop kick on the double kick. O, Mount Otto by Dean Malenko. These guys are hot. And Look uh, at that, even after the match, that means that, again, the Malenko boys are normally not like that, but they are truly, truly well, I was, upset. I, I was just about to say that, Bob. Uh, I was just about to say that the Malenko is a, kind of a quiet, quiet group, whereas uh, well-known as wrestlers. But uh, they are intense today. Let's take a look at the replay of that suplex. And you see both Malenko boys now up on the uh, second rope with Joey DeFuria. Boom, powers him uh, heavily down on the canvas. As Bob had mentioned, that's a super suplex. And I'm sure that that took the wind out of Joe DeFuria as if it hadn't, uh, as if he wasn't winded already after a tremendous beating that he had taken. I do believe that uh, the Malenko brothers are down at ringside with Bob Root as you get a good look at the suplex and a nice bridge by Joe Malenko, and that enables him to pin Joey DeFuria. Now let's go down to Bob Roop and the Malenkos at ringside. I'm here at ringside with Joe and Dean Malenko. These guys, you are really upset today. Pissed off is more like it, Bob. This piece of paper here is a piece of paper that says we want Jumbo Beretta and Dusty Brooks in the worst possible way. We've never in our lives been so serious about any two men. They're ours. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm even a little pissed off in comparison to my brother, who's been wrong. Dean. Let him tell you about it. Dean, I, I know the eye is, up, is a real sore spot with you. Yeah, it is. Brooks, I want you to listen. No, excuse me, Porky. I want you to listen. I want you to listen real closely to what I have to say. You've got a little bit too far. First myself, and then my father. It's just a matter of time before this tent comes off my eye. And I'll be 100 percent. I've already took the first step in getting revenge on you, Fatso. I called the hospital at this time that I'm speaking. They're special ordering a bed so your fat butt can fit in it because you're going to be laid up for a long, long time. That's not a threat. That's a promise. All right, uh, gentlemen, don't run off. You, were, you weren't here last week. We had a situation that did happen with your father. Let's take a look at that. It was a low spot in the annals of Global. Let's take a look. Uh, this is, oh, this has gotten out of hand. At this point, gentlemen, I mean, you were on the cruise with your grandparents, and uh, your father came out here. Was, uh, he got an award, but it was actually a setup. And, uh, Rusty Brooks and Jumbo Beretta, I think, trying to get back from that that uh, match the week before, where you guys gave chased them off the set. They got your dad alone, and uh, you can see what they're doing here, putting the boots to him. And uh, uh, I know that he is uh, he is extremely. Uh, I mean, they left him laying. But just showing us that tape is that an insult to injury. I realize it's not you, but we're mad enough. We don't need to see what happened. We know what happened. If Rusty and Jumbo think for one minute because we're outside of, of the bounds of the United States on a boat somewhere, that we don't know what's going on with our own family, and that they're hurting our flesh and blood, then they're sadly mistaken. Brooks, I'd like to finish with one thing. Remember this, Fatso. In the land of the blind, one eye is king between two big men uh, young Steve Bennett of course the Bennett brothers a uh, different little philosophy on professional wrestling but uh, 
That'll be our TV main event. Now, Gordon, Gordon, you heard that, right? When Rich came out and he made the match that's, that's been sanctioned by you, that's okay. Yes, sir. We, we heard it and we sanction it 100%. All right, that'll be our TV main event. Matter of fact, that'll be coming up next. And we'll just push that other match we had scheduled back to standby, okay? If that's all right with you. Uh, Southern heavyweight title, Steve Pritchard against Tommy Rich. Meanwhile, in the ring, Steve Bennett's just all over Ray Man, Kennedy. I'm telling you what. This is a surprise in here. I, I never believe this. Candy fighting his way back out of the corner. Steve Bennett's in that pressure situation, though, too. If he can come up with a win on Ray Candy. You got so much young talent coming in now. Everybody's hungry, and it's just... There's a big career boost for him right now. He's proving out. It's like he's sending out a message to everybody. He's here to win. He's here to beat people. Ray Candy and Steve Bennett, not a wrestling move yet. Just uh, hammer and tongs. Fists and feet just since the it's since the very start of the match. Rick, I tell you what, Pritch is a real good friend of mine. If you don't mind, I'm gonna take a few minutes off. I'll be back. I want to go talk to him about this match coming up. And Fantastic. Well, okay I know. Uh, okay? Thank you for coming out. Thank John. you very much. I'll see you at, when that match comes on. All here. right, John Michaels leaving the desk, going back to uh, try to help. Uh, Steve Pritchard gets psychologically prepared for today's TV main event. A crack for Steve at the Southern Heavyweight Championship. And uh, you think Tommy Rich was surprised last week? I bet you five bucks if I was a betting man that uh, Steve Pritchard's got some plans in store for that Tommy Rich, which is very welcome to have a new Southern Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> God love that. Candy. Finding his mark now against uh, Steve Bennett, who, of course, the, the veteran wrestler Ray Candy. Uh, Bennett had him going there for the first couple of minutes, but uh, the, the mark of experience starting to show here, though. The ring wars that Big Ray has been through all across the world uh, got him used to that kind of tactics. Maybe he wasn't expecting it from Big Steve, but uh, he's certainly seen that uh, style of wrestling before. Bennett drives Ray Candy into the far turnbuckle, goes to squash him in the corner, comes up with an empty corner. Ooh! Ray Candy. Arm bar into his vantage. Isley was smart enough to sit down on the thing and yep. hang on to the arm bar of Nelson Royal. A good shot by our cameraman here, giving us Sasha's view of what's going on in the ring. I, you know, I've been doing some shopping for some leather for my lady. Right. Can you imagine what that leather outfit that Sasha is wearing must have cost? Uh, I wouldn't want to have to go out and be the one to pay for it. Oh, like man. that. This, I mean, leather and silver. That is a gorgeous outfit. And uh, now Royal, I'd hate to pay for that, but boy, I tell you what, with a lady like that, you got to keep her in fine threads, huh, Rick? I imagine so. <laughs> Inside the ring, Nelson Royal castigated by the referee for some of his tactics. Perfectly legal hip lock takedown, but look how Isley stays in the thing. Cup in the chin and Nelson Royal trying to float up with a cross face, trying to keep something going, even as he's on the bottom in this situation. Trying to keep his shoulders off the mat very hard. Yeah. Right now, he does turn the situation over, and now he's got Nelson down, and he's rubbing his face into the ring. Nelson telling the referee we're close enough to the ropes, but the referee not agreeing. Now, Sasha not real happy with this. She's uh, trying to encourage Nelson Royal to come on. David Isley, a clean break. You see Isley. a lot of amateur background in David Isley, especially the way he works around the head of Nelson Royal. Uh, wrestling coaches from high schools and college always say you control the head, you control the body. Where the head goes, everything else follows. That may be Isley's idea in this match. Ooh. If he is, he's in against a head hunter in Nelson Royal. That's right. Nelson will go after one of those five points of balance. Right now, though, Nelson trying to keep his balance as he's slammed out of the mat. There's a two count, and the champion kicks out. Isley goes right back in and does a front face lock, but he left it right open for Nelson to come out. Now, look There's at that. Just manhandle uh, That experience that makes Nelson Royal the world's junior heavyweight champion just... There's uh, there's no substitute for it in the world no. of professional sports, be it in any sport. Uh, Nelson Royal certainly knows that uh, almost without exception, the situation that he get into, he's got the talent and the ability and the knowledge to get oh, out. Oh, Rick, now we saw this last week, and for some reason, Nelson Royal using a low blow to set up this spinning toe hole, but once again, it is victorious, but I got to admit, I can't say I'm happy with what we see.